Remember, if you do enjoy, like, share, and subscribe. Chapter 2, Nothing Personal. In the Blade's first game of the season, you face the team captain alone in the locker room. Casey Jameson, the best center forward in the league, and your prime interview subject stares you down. You're not going to talk to me on the record for the whole season. You get your teeth stepping toe-to-toe -to -toe with the hot-headed captain. He meets your gaze with a storm in his eyes. Forever. And I'll make sure the whole team does the same. You see, you can't... ruin my whole career over a grudge. What have I done to you? You barely know me. He looked you up and down like he does know you. And he doesn't need to know more. But I know you're kind scavengers. You'll say anything for a good quote. That's like saying all hockey players are brutes. You're being unfair. Who told you life is fair and I am a brute? Fine. The network can complain to the league. You know. Media relations are in your contract. So you're gonna tattle on me? Go right ahead. I'll take the fine. Maybe I will. I'm not gonna let you tank my job on the first day. And I'm not going to let the media rip my team apart. What exactly happened last season? As if you care. You push back us, the traitorous response of your body, your skin flushed and alive, where brought nearly brush to and poke him in the chest. I do care. The prize flickers in his eyes, a short breath escapes his lips, then his hard, defiant sneer snaps back into place. Prove it. The air between you is so fragile, you're afraid to take a breath. You're so close, your chests nearly brushing against each other. Casey, I... Final buzzer blares, and you jump back. Breathing hard, the rest of the players pour in, giddy and clapping each other on the back. We won. Thanks to Jameson's little stunt. Between me and you, Jameson, I think that's what shook him up. That and kill save in third period. There was just a bit of speed, nothing special. Who's this? I'm Ava, the new sideline reporter. That no one here is gonna breathe a word to, got it? No one on my team gives her a crumb. Browski's smile slips right off his face. Kells gives a low sympathetic whistle. Brent shrugs unbothered. And Casey looks right at you, daring you to step up to the challenge. That's funny because I'm not going anywhere. I don't give up every time some asshole thinks he's in charge. One of his teammates whistles at your boldness. Casey shrugs, drawing your attention to the bunching muscles of his arms. Good for you. Hang around until you're blue in the face. I don't care. He pushes past you. His shoulder is bumping yours and stomps out. Your skin burns where you touched. With the show over, the others move on, but Kells Kinsey stays behind. Tough break, kid. Kells Kinsey has always been known as a cold front to Casey's desert storm. Unflappable on the ice, logical. Kells, big fan. I just need like two seconds. No notebook, no mic. You're certainly determined. And you're the most level-headed player here. Well, someone has to be. She's smiling. This is working. Any woman who holds her own in this testosterone fest of a league is beyond impressive. Next to that, dealing with Casey must be a piece of cake. Believe me, there's nothing easy when it comes to Casey. He's perpetually grumpy. Don't take it personally. It's hard not to. Doesn't he realize what's at stake? Casey's risking the entire team's image. I can make this team shine, get you new opportunities and sponsorships. You'll be hard pressed to find someone who prioritizes their pockets over their loyalty to our captain. If I don't put together some content for my boss, I'm toast. Is there anyone who would go against Casey? There's always Brandt, but I don't suggest using him, unless you never want to speak to Casey again. What about you? You're already talking to me. If you could just give me one tiny quote. 
I'm not stupid enough to risk my friendship with Casey on the record, but Casey can't stop me from grabbing food at his favorite diner, and he can't stop you from joining me. And I could get a few tips on how to win him over. I got through his defenses once. Now I can pass on my mysterious ways on there. I was on the ice during that infamous championship game. I can give you some details since you know Casey won't talk about it. Lunch? Sounds amazing. When you and Kells arrive at the diner, she makes a beeline for one particular booth. It's like you own the place. This is the unofficial diner of the Blades team. We've been coming here for years. You slide into the plethora banquet seat and prop your elbows on the table peering at the menu. So first, Casey's fact. He is a sucker for the diner's signature breakfast burrito. But I suggest actually tasting it before you bond with him over it. The man can spot a fake burrito oh, lover a mile off. I already assumed lying to Casey would know. Is the burrito really that good? It's out of this world. Those who don't believe me always wish they had. In fact, he's made the mistake the first time I brought him here. He's always got to learn the hard way. Would you say his way to his heart is through his stomach? Your mind goes straight to the image of his abs, a bead of sweat disappearing into the trail of hair leading to his shorts. He, is a, he appreciates good food, enjoyed with even better company. You focus back on your subject, swallowing hard. She's watching you with a raised eyebrow. Like you? You take a sip of ice water, hoping to cool your flaming cheeks, but it only reminds you of the chills as you feel fell to the ice. Right before the fire of his Casey's touch lifting you to safety. Oh my god, I'm supposed to be mad at him. Yeah, or you. Casey wants to trust you, but he's softer than the media gives him credit for. It's not like he's giving us anything else to go off of besides, why does he care what a bunch of suits behind a desk thinks? Because those suits get hit a nerve. He loves the game. He loves his team. So when the anchors call him a washed up has-been who'd lost his love of the game, your mind drifts back to the disastrous championship game. You were in the stands, biting your nails along with every other Loyal Blades fan in the arena. Come on, come on. It seemed like your team was miles ahead of their competition. Is he lightening the lamp like his career depended on it? But in the third period, the other team's left forward made a sudden push towards the goal. Casey blocked his path out of my way. The opponent knocked Casey's stick out from under him, sending the Blades captain to his knees. Referee! A hush fell over the stadium as Casey tore off his helmet, challenging the forward to a brawl. Try that again. The referee tried to intervene, but it was too late. Casey, faced with rage, slammed a fist straight into the forward's nose. You shake yourself back to the prison, where Kells is patiently waiting for your response. Yeah, the championship game was brutal. Casey's tough, but he's not invincible. When that many people question your character, you start to question it to yourself. I can try to win Casey over, but I can't fix his damage from the entire journalistic establishment. Kells gives you a ruesque nod over her cup of coffee. You have the feeling that you've passed some kind of test. I think you've got what it takes. So, I have your blessing? Yeah, it'll be good for him. He's been way too in his own head. Just don't tell him I said that. Well... I'd love to meet the real Casey. He's got a serious wall up like he's protecting himself from something. He's been burned in the past. Wonder what his face might look like without the stormy glare, the scowl, the displeased curl of his lip. And you wonder what you could do to get him to drop the mask. So it'll be that much more rewarding when I figure out the man behind all that ego. Casey likes people who go out, go after what they want. He won't make it easy for you, but that's part of his angle. You're about to ask a follow-up question when a waitress sets the famed breakfast burrito down in front of you. 
but offering him breakfast won't hurt either. Breakfast burrito. Taste it. Okay, I'd love to know how a burrito can be good enough to get past his defenses. By all means, become enlightened. You drizzle the salsa verde from over the top and lift the warm tortilla from mouth. Flavor explodes in your mouth. Your taste buds sing with wonder and exhalation. Oh my god. Mm, disarmingly delicious, right? It's orgasmic. You clap a hand over your mouth, but you can't take a bit back. The burrito is that good. She just grins. See, that's the other reason I think you're gonna wear Casey down. I like food. Sex appeal. You nearly spit out your second bite. You search her face, trying to see if she's joking. Could she have pegged you so easily? There are serious ethical concerns. I'm not saying take Casey to bed. Just make him think you could. He's like any other hot-blooded man under the sun. He likes a good chase. He also likes someone who isn't afraid to push his buttons a bit. So who can be the boss? He respects persistence. For a brief moment, you let yourself imagine Casey hanging on your every word at the rink in the locker room in your bed. You picture the way you could tease him, make him wait for your touch, only gifting relief once his lips have curled around the words, please. You think he'd really want that, even if it doesn't lead anywhere? Which, to be clear, it won't. He'd still be interested, very interested. Noted. He found his weakness. Return to the studio and comb over your footage. Open a cobble to gather something for the network's next feature. But, with Casey's media embargo, you only have a few shots of players on the ice. No interviews, no sound bites, no story. What about the interview with them, them bony driver? Are you kidding? Our show is what plays while the Zamboni is on the ice. You tap your pen against your bottom lip, running through the, every conversation you've had with Casey in the last few days. Casey's being a baby. If he would just give in, he'd see I'm not the villain here. He might kind of hate you, but you two do have a rapport. There's got to be some way you could break him. Somewhere in your mind, a light bulb goes off. You grab your bag and sling it over your shoulder. Until we have a quote from him himself, this is hopeless. There's only one strategy I haven't tested. He also said Casey admires persistence, so I'm going to put a little overtime tomorrow morning. Whatever you're planning, I hope it works. Me too, or I can kiss my dreams of being a real news anchor goodbye. Early the next morning, you stand just outside the arena, eagerly waiting for Casey to arrive. Operation Persistence is officially underway. A car pulls into the parking lot in the damn morning light. You can see his telltale red paint job. Hmm. He steps out of the car and sees you and scowls. Ah, uh, you look so cute. You're ambushing me now. I'm showing up for the job, putting in the work, just like you. That's great. Very happy for you. Alyssa's key card gesturing for you to step aside. Give me two minutes off camera. The scowl flickers as if he isn't sure whether to be irritated or intrigued. Why should I? Because I come bearing gifts. You lift a plate straight from the diner. A piping hot breakfast burrito with extra hot sauce. Mmm. He was she was right. He can't resist the power of a crispy bacon and steaming eggs. His eyes light up like a childlike joy. How'd you know about Blade's best kept secret? Despite your efforts, I have my sources. What else did Kells squeal about? Just that you're a secret softy. Not true, I'm a certified asshole. Is that why you let her win that shootout back in the day? He raises an eyebrow, taking a generous bite of his burrito, making you wait while he chews. 
I'll let you on a secret. She beat me fair and square. Just don't tell her that. Surprise zips through you. An electric thrill warming your spine. There's nothing sexier than hearing a man admit he's wrong. He devours the last bite of his breakfast, chewing thoughtfully. So you're here because it's breaking news that I have a friend? You realize he's ribbing you. All it takes is a few bites of a burrito and some extra hot sauce to melt his icy exterior. What did they put in those things? Jalapenos and serotonin? Or was there something else you needed me to confirm? Just... You think back to what Kel said about Casey responding well to your appeal. You steal your nerves looking him in the eye. She implied you like being bossed around now and then. His eyes flash up to yours. He's wary, but intrigued. And you're up to the challenge. The dark hunger in his gaze makes your knees buckle, but you stay steady, reaching out to wipe a stray bead of hot sauce from his lip. His lips part as your finger swipes along the skin as you regard the droplet on your thumb with feigned disinterest. Yeah, I'm up for it. Wipe it off on his shirt. You bring your hand to his mouth as if daring him to lick it off himself. He leans forward just a bit as you drag your hand down his stomach, leaving the drop in the wake of your touch. No change, you look like a hot mess. Fair enough. He leans close, placing his hand on the wall behind your head, his lips just a breath away from your ear. I'll concede one thing. You know what you're doing. But just know, I'll always return the favor, and you can quote me on that. He swipes his keycard again, pushing past you to head inside. You're still down to a safe for TV quote and some footage, but I'll take any progress I can get. You linger at the stadium all day, waiting him out. The blades are wrapping up a late night practice as you take notes from the penalty box hoping for something tangible to bring back to your boss this persisting better pay off and then all hell breaks loose fang chasing jackass self-important bastard the team gives casey and brent a wide berth as brent thrusts his hockey stick to the eye signaling a fight rot row wow Kel said Casey can't stand Brent, but I couldn't have guessed it went this deep. Casey swings his fist, catching Brent on the shoulder. Brent throws a punch, but Casey ducks it. I'm your captain. Get some damn respect or I'll pummel it into you. Grabs Brent by the jersey, the muscles in his arms flexing as he gets in the man's face. The raw strength of him makes your knees buckle, especially when you imagine those hands on you curling around your waist. I'm supposed to respect the captain who tanked the championship last year. Low blow, Brent. I really hope Casey doesn't get hurt. You rise to your feet, angling for a better view, and Casey's this worked up. It's hard to get mad about him. You better not lay a f hand on that pretty face of his. I'll tank you the next time you speak to me like that. That's enough. You're really gonna derail practice over bruised egos. Now that. Tell Jameson that. He's the one blocking my time on the ice. Lowell, you're too big for second line position on a division champ team. Maybe you need to ride the bench. And you, Casey, stop taking the kid's bait. You're the damn captain. Yes, coach. Practice is over. Everyone get out. The coach's words clearly stain on Casey's face. Coach pulls him aside as the others skate off. Casey, this has to stop. Does management threat to reorganize mean nothing to you? Whoa, now that is news. I'm working on it, I promise, coach. I've been telling them you've changed. Don't make me a liar. With that, coach leaves in case he watches. Now alone in the ice, he throws back his head, breath clouding the air. He doesn't even look angry, he just looks devastated. As he's failing the team. The moment feels so private. At first you're not sure how to proceed, but you gently knock on the glass to get his attention. You again. 
No matter how many times I brush you off, you just like sticking around like glitter. So you've noticed my sparkling personality. Despite his grumpy huff, there's a spark of humor in his eyes. The faintest hint of something else. Respect. You look like... You need to let off some steam. I don't need to do anything. Bullshit. Casey, there's literal steam rising off your body. That's just because you're here. He skates over to your seat, hovering just out of reach. The bruise from last game is still healing. If you saw the fight, you must think I'm everything they say. Oh, he wonders about your opinion on him. You make a big show of checking your notes, flipping through pages until you find a recent soundbite from a sports anchor. An out-of-control menace? No. Fighting Brent was... Foolish. You risk injuring your body and damaging your teammates' trust this early in the season at practice. You know Brent's just trying to get a rise out of you, so don't let him. He has a reluctant nod of agreement. You're annoying, but you're right. A grin. You're finally chipping away at that icy exterior, and he is beneath it. So it is intriguing, but also undeniably hot. Focus. Now's your chance to dig deeper. What Coach said earlier about management, is it true your contract is in danger? Elmo, no one can light the lamp like I can. You're right. It'd be stupid to lose you. And as a Blades fan, I'd be so mad. I'd want to break the glass myself. It's all just talk and politics. Management's just throwing weight around. Maybe they want fewer fights. Fighting's part of hockey. Fans love it. Speaking as a fan, you're not wrong. Then you know that holding hands on the ice doesn't sell tickets. Maybe not, but championships do. You let the words hang in the air between you, hoping he takes the bait, but his expression shudders. You're just angling for information again. Do you ever quit? No. Do you? Like I said before, if you want a quote so bad, you'll have to earn it. I'm not falling for that again. Last time you dangled the possibility of a quote in front of me like a carrot. Not my fault. You assumed I'd cooperate, but this time I'm telling you I will. He skates backward, further into the rink, and spreads his arms in a taunting invitation. You know the value of going after what you want. Join me for laps. We can race for it. Now you're just being condescending. You don't think I can win. There's no risk in it for you. You've got a chance. I've been practicing all night. I'm winded. You're fresh. Unless you don't have what it takes. You'd be surprised, Jameson. You're on. We don't even know if she's good on the ice or even been on the ice. But I dig her ass. You lift a spare pair of skates from the equipment locker and lace them tight. Casey appraises your technique a hand on his chin. A double loop over the left side, interesting. I'm rusty, rather not get a lace bite, even if I'm handing you your ass doing it. Hmm, in that case allow me to double check your work. I want to, this to be a fair fight after all. He zooms to, towards you, dropping a one knee in a fluid movement to assess your work. He tugs at the laces and nods. You're not about to shoelace splain me, are you? Joke all you want. I'm not going to be the one responsible for the death of the network's cutest and most annoying reporter. I should milk it for all it's worth. You lean back on your elbow, smirking as he turns to your other skate. I could get used to those. What, a dedicated skate technician? No, this. He Jameson on his knees, aiming to please. He leaned forward, smelling the salt on his skin. He inclines his head towards you, the heat from his gaze like a magnet. Don't get used to it. Just don't want to see you eat it on the ice. Dugs the laces tighter, and then runs his hands along the sides, fingers barely skimming your calf as he checks his work. He leans closer, taking your challenge with a confident grin. There, nice and tight. He leaned forward, drawn in by his magnetic gaze when he pushes back, skating away in a flash, leaving you suddenly cold. 
Well, we doing this? You figure you're on the sidelines of an ice rink, you'd already be cool. You heave a breath and glide onto the ice, again, a wide, confident circle around him. He grins. You can skate, suspicion confirmed. You break, coming in a stop right in front of him, he lifts his chin, pinning you with a fiery gaze. I can skate circles around you. Until you prove yourself, it's all talk. I'm good for it. Then I hope you won't mind me giving you a tip on your form. What about it? Too distracting? He kicks apart your skates and your knees buckle. You barely avoid slipping, grabbing onto him for balance. Hey! If you're trying to act tough, make sure your skates are locked in position. Otherwise, anyone can get under your skin. Speaking of getting under your skin... He lifts the hem of his jersey, dabbing away the sweat of his brow. Your eyes drop to his chiseled abs beneath his armor. You treat yourself to a long look at his carved torso, letting your gaze drip down to where his hockey shorts are slung low on his hips. Don't get distracted. Too late, but I'm still gonna win this thing. After all, I think we could use some kind of release. Mm, show off my assets. I have been working up a sweat. You pinch the hem of your shirt and fan yourself with it, feeling soft, pliant skin just above your waistband. His eyes linger on your skin, tracing the bead of sweat dripping down your navel. Just wait till I'm done with you. You line up on the ice for the race. You're keenly aware of his body beside yours, the space between your arms, the sound of his gaze. On three. One. Two. You take off on two, laughing at his shout of indignation. He's a pro hockey player. You deserve a little head start. Hey, no fair. What are you going to do about it? Easily catches up and passes you. You try to match his energy, pushing yourself faster until your breath is coming hard. You can tell he's taking it a little easy on you, testing the limits of your skill. He swivels and skates backward, taunting you face to face. Go off. Let the best you got. Quit chirping and skate. You draw on years of old training, finding a burst of speed deep in your legs. The two of you are full on racing now, each striving to outmatch the other. You enter the final turn of the first lap, and Casey ups his speed, bending low to the ice, the curve of his ass straining against his hockey shorts. Quick, I need to maintain my speed, wait for his stamina to fade, pump my legs. Maintain my speed. You find your rhythm and stick with it, opting for stability, speed. If I fall on my ass, I'll never hear the end of it. As you come up on the next turn, you crouch low and shift your weight to your inside skate. The gate between you and Casey shrinks. You're so close you can feel the tension radiating off of him in waves. You hear the sharp intake of his breath. He's too good. If I don't distract him, there's no way I'm winning this thing. I should... Flash him. You dig deep for one last surge of energy, using what you have left for a grand finale. Time for Casey to realize who he's dealing with. As he glances back at you, blades cutting through the eyes, you reach for the hem of your shirt and lift it, letting the cold blast of air harden your nipples with tantalizing points. Clark! Despite himself, his gaze drops down, tracing the curves on display. Then he stumbles, the skates tangling beneath him. That's cheating! Hmm, that's game, baby. Cross the finish line with a shout of triumph. Congrats, even you, even if you cheated. Told you, skating's in my... Clark! You turn just in time to see the edge of the rink approaching fast, but he's faster. I got you. You skid to a stop, breathing hard. You grab Casey by the waist as your blades send up a spray of frost. He steadies you, his fingers digging in your hips. Whoa. He clutches you close. Dark eyes like a magnet. There's something unspoken in the intensity of his stare. Clark, you need to watch yourself. His murmur makes your knees buckle and you lose your balance all over again. His thumb crushes your lower back and the anticipation ripples up your spine. His gaze drops your lips and you feel the warmth of his breath mingle with yours. But is he gonna kiss me? 
Do I want him to? His gaze burns in yours, and you want nothing more than to give into the adrenaline pumping in your blood to keep riding this high. Lark. Casey, you're so... You scramble to think of a way to describe him. Your thoughts scatter by the heat of his hands. But you like it. You give in, your eyes flutter shut, your lips part in anticipation. But suddenly the pressure of your waist is gone. When you open your eyes, he is several feet away, reaching for his water bottle. I'll hand it to you, I'm parched. Not everyone can wind me like that. Wind me, whatever. As a voice is forced, casual, as if his hands were just not just flush against your body, as if his fingers weren't digging into your hips. You cross your arms, pushing the memory of his touch out of your mind. He's still your interview subject. You can be professional. Like I said, if you show management what you just showed me, you won't have anything to worry about. It takes a second for him to catch your meaning. He looks almost dazzled in your wake, blinking hard before answering. Right, management. I'll have to do more than skate fast to get back in their good graces. What does that mean? What happened to that blind confidence about lighting the lamp? Chews on his next word, struggling to get them out. The silence stretches, the tension cresting. I won't go on the record, but Coach is right. I gotta win the championship this year, or management might decide I'm uh, too unpredictable to take a chance on again. You mean they trade you? You could lose the blades. His mouth forms a thin, unhappy line, but the haunted look on his face confirms your fear. Then you better get used to me fast, Jameson, because this reporter is your last hope. Help me, Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. Without further ado, thanks for watching. Please, if you did enjoy, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Head down description, plenty of things to check out, ways to support, and ways to become an intricate part of this family, this community that we have here. And also consider checking out the join and thanks features that are on YouTube. Without further ado, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And so far, my thoughts on this are pretty much... um. Cool or cold, whichever way you <laughs> want it to be. Other than that, thanks again for watching. Catch you all later. Peace out.